This is new to me. I've never experienced oh, really? an E93. Hope it doesn't break down on me, but <laughs> surprisingly, it's the most reliable part on this car. All right, let's show California car. Oh, you can hear it so much more. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! I was like, no, that's definitely too oh, fat. Oh, <laughs> that was a big raccoon. I pull over and check it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, there's something. I like saw it. I'm like, wait, that's kind of too fat. I know. I was like, there's nowhere else to go, really. So. What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. My name is Spencer Burke. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. We're filming, I know I say this all the time, we're filming a very special car. And I say that often, but this is actually really, really unique. We're out here in Palos Verdes, which is a very, very nice neighborhood. Um, we're trying to be as quiet as we can, only because we're in this car. So let's talk about this thing. Dude, so we, we've been going back and forth for a couple years now, oh, yeah. as far as social media, and I've seen your build progress from day one. What inspired you to do a convertible? Because this is something that you don't ever see. Well, actually, the how I got with the convertible was kind of like a long story. I had a Subaru the WRX hatchback before this. I was kind of like looking to trade it in for an M3, and like the dealership that had this car was like the cleanest car. And the last owner that had this car was some old lady from like Colorado and she broke her wrist so she couldn't drive stick anymore oh. so it was it had low miles yeah, it only had like 30,000 miles when I got it and it was manual I actually wanted a sedan but it was the only car that dealership would take my car in it was the cleanest one that I could find that was within the price range so I bought the convertible and since then I actually like fell in love with it a lot and I used to hate on convertibles until I got one now it's like I can't see myself <laughs> my name is Thomas 2008 M3 E93 um, what suspension are you running on this car the suspensions Olin's RT and it currently has the stock top hats on it right now, but I used to have Warschlag camera plates, but those actually got dirty real quick. It would make noises, so I put the stock hats back on. So right now it's just Olin's road and track. What headlights are these? Uh, the lenses are by Bav Group. So the LED lenses are by him and uh, same with the carbon fiber eyebrows, but these are kind of dirty right now, but uh, Masterminds in uh, LA built them. It's been about three years since I got them and yeah, nothing went out. They'd still look good. And uh, the front lip is GT4 replica lip and the canards are GT4 as well. Canards are actually from Germany. So these canards, they're actually like legit carbon fiber on this car besides like the wing. They're like actually like 0.5 pounds or something like when you put them on, the first corner you take after you put them on, you actually notice the difference with these canards. Really? Yeah, that's why all the race cars you see have it. I always thought like, hey, canards are just for like looks. Same with the wing. Yeah, I was like, oh, let's get to the wing. It's for looks, you know, let's be a race. It actually makes a big difference. Let's talk about the wing then. Let's go yeah. check it out. So what wing is this exactly? It's the Vortex Type 1S, maybe like 15, 10 pounds and makes big difference. What's the exhaust that you're running? It's Challenge Race X-Pipe and Challenge Muffler. So the company, I don't think they're still around right now, but pretty rare. How about this rear diffuser? What setup is that? Do you know Varus? Yeah. Uh, rear diffuser? Yeah, it's the replica version of that. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the roll cage. Oh yeah. Because that, that's the main point of this car. I was taking the car out to the track for fun and I'm, just in case if I ever rolled over, like I wanted to have some kind of safety. Especially in a convertible. Yeah, so that was just kind of like a little idea. I was like, oh, let's just do it. And I was talking to my friends and they're like, yo, you should do it. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll do it. And I was talking to, yeah, Studio RSR guys. This is actually the first E93 roll cage they ever did. And then, yeah, they just did a custom, all the measurements. And, and what made you want to go with yellow? Yellow BBKs. Stop Tech, the six piston ST60, the BBK. And how do you like those? Definitely the best thing to get for if you're tracking the car or if you're just trying to have a better brake. What was your first reaction when you went on the track and you had these? So my very first track, I was on stock brakes, right? Uh -huh. And those actually completely toasted the brake rotors. If you ever track your car on a stock M3, you have to change out the stock brake pads because those stock brake pads, they will melt onto the rotors and warp the rotors. And you found out the hard way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I got a brand new brake rotors, brand new brake pads, and a month later I went to the track and then it completely like screwed up oh, the front no. rotors. Yeah, so I had to, that's when that's when I got the BBK. I was like, oh, okay, this has gotta go. So that's I, perfect. 
perfect timing yeah, then. I found a really good deal on a used one, so I like swapped it out. Uh, what tires are you on? Front is Michelin Pilot Super Sports, and the rears were Continental Extreme Contacts. They used to be Pilot Super Sports in the back too, but yeah. obviously you go through them. Yeah. <laughs> and then how about the side skirts? The Force Works side skirts. The thing that I've noticed the most about this car is the the hood. Yeah. I've seen you post on Instagram a couple photos from like above. It's by uh, Trackspec Motorsports, so they only make the vents, and what you have to do is you have to chop up your OEM hood and then oh. put it on. Yeah. So this is the OEM hood that I had before chopping it and then putting these on. So you have to do that yourself? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, a pretty big thing. I actually had a friend of mine do it. Yeah. It makes a big difference too, actually, cooling and performance wise too. Yeah, when you turn, you can, all the air that gets trapped inside the hood, they actually come out and put like the front end down a little. Just like the canards, you notice it on the first turn. So like, the funny thing is that a lot of people will be like, hey, these are all for looks. Yeah. But they actually all have function behind exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, wow. that's what I thought too. I used to think, oh my God, like, well, what do they do? It's all yeah. for looks. And then once you actually start putting like quality parts on, then it'll like start actually making you notice the difference. I gotcha. And then you have the F80 style front grills. Yeah, same with from Mashimaro. With gotcha. the, yeah, so I got the grills and the scoops from Mashimaro. Can we see the engine? Yeah. Can we pop it real quick? It might be, the, the engine bay might be hella dirty though. Oh, it's okay. Well, it's a car that's meant to be used, so. So yeah. the, the thing is, this car is all motor. Yeah, all NA, just tune. That shows you how much this engine has as far as capabilities. Is that if you have suspension and you have a right yeah, setup with the brakes and everything. Yeah, it'll be a fun car to drive for the street. Yeah. And you track the car a lot, right? Not a lot, but it's still a, a fun once in a while, like a fun track car. I'm not like a dedicated like racer. Yeah. Or anything. I don't really care about times or it's just for fun. I want to check out these seats too, because you texted me and you were like, I don't know if you're going to be able to fit in these seats too yeah, well. These, these are small. Yeah, these are freaking tiny. These so are tiny like, seats. What seats are these? Uh, they're the status ring seats. So there's ring, ring GT, and ring GTS or something. So okay. yeah, those are the different sizes. So it's, but it's the smallest one. So they hold you really tight if you are the right size, and yeah. they're really good for the track. But anything else, <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyone else bigger, you're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> How about the steering wheel? The M Performance, yeah, Alcantara flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, what's the shift knob again? It's off of an F10 M5, I believe, okay. or F80 M3, one of those. And then how about the harnesses? They're the Schroth 4.0 ASM harnesses. What's the wheel setup that you have? Um, it's BBS E05, 18 by 11s and 18 by 10 in the front. And these wheels are legit, like real oh, yeah. BBSs. Yeah, real BBS E05s, like same same level as like E88s and those E07s, all those forged like track wheels. What was your thought when you first had these on the track? How'd it feel? Was there a big difference oh, yeah. with these? Even when just like flooring on the highway, I noticed like even the wheels I had before these were HRE R43s and even those were like super light forged 18 inch wheels. But even better than that, if these felt like more strong, wow. like, more solid, you could tell like, so that shows that you get what you pay for. Exactly. The wheels are like solid. One thing we talked about too is how with the roll cage, you have to have that when you go race at a track. But if you don't have a roll cage, you can have, as long as you have pop-ups. Yeah. Can you explain that? Okay, so convertible, like a modern car, they come up with the pop-up system in case if you flip over your car. At a track in California, the organizations I've been to, they don't allow convertibles unless they have a factory pop-up system or a built-in roll cage. So you've tracked this with a top-down. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So it's not the fastest, compared to other M3s, but it's definitely the most fun. How long have you owned this car for? About four years now. And what's your experience been? Really good. It's the most reliable car I had so far. Definitely a lot of fun. Definitely can't see myself buying anything else. Like, <laughs> what do you think about the S65? Oh, it's my favorite BMW motor. Yeah, because this car off the bat, it comes with such a good setup from the factory. This motor, I think, is probably one of the best motors you can buy. Yeah, it, it doesn't have that much torque, but if you replace the rod bearings, there's no other problems that it'll give you. Have you replaced rod bearings on this? Yeah, I did at 60,000 miles and then yeah. how about throttle actuators i did like a month after that because they actually went out after a month after so oh, okay like, oh. so you experienced going into limp mode and everything yeah i, yeah, I experienced all the throttle actuator problems so <laughs> i experienced pretty much all the main things that'll happen to this car like the throttle actuators replace the rod bearings and i replaced the wheel bearings a couple months ago really you did rod bearings yeah. you did throttle actuators and you did a wheel bearing yeah and i did all the all the brakes all the ignition coils <laughs> all, the, all the fluids 65,000 miles in four years okay so i have two questions the first one is is, uh, how many miles are on the car right now? It's at 113,000 miles. 113,000 yeah, miles. And I bought it at 30,000. Dang, good for you. And then what does your license plate mean? Oh, that's my Korean name. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I, just, I didn't know what to put. I just wanted a black and yellow license plate, but didn't know what to put, so I just put my Korean name. <laughs> that's awesome. You did the, the dash in suede. Yeah, the suede is Alcantara with yellow stitching by Mashimaro. Can we see the top in action going up? Yeah. Because I wanted, I saw it earlier, but I was inside. It's funny because I have a whole new respect for convertibles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you at first said you wouldn't buy a convertible. Exactly, yeah. I used to hate on convertibles until I got one. <laughs> and now you love it. Yeah. And I can see why, because it adds so much more of a perspective and the sound too. Yeah. When you're driving in the car, look it, at how cool it that is. is. <laughs> 
And now it's just the 92. Yeah, so Transformers. <laughs> that is so sweet. What a transformation it is just with putting the roof up. What a unique car, man. I have to say, I give you a lot of props for doing a convertible. Thanks. It's really cool. So if anyone on social media wants to follow you, you document everything on Instagram, right? Uh, yeah, I don't post too much, but... So I'll put your Instagram below, and then um, if people want to ask you questions, because you're full of knowledge. Oh. It seems like you know a lot about these cars because you've been through all this experience yeah. with it. So if anyone wants to follow your build, they can follow you on Instagram. Other than that, dude, I can't say thank you enough. Oh, yeah, thank you for having me. Of course, thank you, man. How is it driving with the GT4 front lip? Well, you, you've heard like all the screams on the way here. We probably heard like 10 in the last 15 yeah. seconds. And then you said that the car handles better with the top down. Surprisingly, because all the weight from the hard top goes on the trunk. So I, I'm guessing it's putting all the weight down on the rear wheels. So you feel a huge difference when you have the top Not down. Not a huge difference, but when you're like turning, you definitely notice, hey, like kind of spins less. That's something I don't think a lot of people would think about. That's exactly what I didn't wow. think about either until, yeah, I experienced it first time. That, it's probably a heavy hard top, huh? Yeah, the hard top is actually weight wise, maybe like a hundred pounds heavier than coupe. Okay. What's heavier is the pop-up system the seats and like the other all the other convertible extra stuff how much do the seats weigh the stock seats they're actually 115 pounds each per seat yeah so th these seats are maybe like 15 pounds that's insane just yeah. through the seats alone yeah, that's why it fell a little fast for you, you yeah you were saying like it feels like stock and through but yeah it's because the seats are gone what tune are you running right now right now it's the gintani tune okay it's just very like aggressive like all these pops fires everywhere so you shoot flames out of this thing yeah you'll see it later <laughs> 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 That's so cool. <laughs>
So I don't know if you can get that in the video, but it is so loud. The flames are huge. As you saw right there, that was pretty crazy. Thomas, you're an awesome dude. That was like pretty nuts, man. I'm literally shaking from the adrenaline of how insane this car is. If you get a chance to hear it in person, your mind will change completely about E93s. Wow. Dude, that was so loud. perspective on E93 has completely changed. I have a lot more respect for that car. Thomas, thank you, bro. That was awesome. Great driving. I can tell you've been to the track before. With that being said, please go ahead and thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.